What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in and stopping by. As always, I greatly appreciate it. Today we're going to be doing a locally roasted here in Bucks County. Today we're going to be doing a local coffee roaster just 20 minutes away across county line in Bucks County, Pennsylvania called Covered Bridge coffee roasters located in Feasterville, Pennsylvania. I've known about this place for a little while, but I've actually never taken the trip. And after having some conversations with some of you, you finally convinced me to go check it out. This is one of those places that if you don't know that it's there, you're probably gonna miss it. When we pulled in, it is this tiny little coffee shop, like coffee shack. I don't know what to call it, but it was super cute, super adorable in there and the people were very, very nice. I know that sometimes they have a little like coffee cart that you can go out and grab grab some things, but it was a little too cold for them to be brewing up a couple fresh pots when we visited. But we picked up a couple bags and the one that we're doing today is the Winter Carnival Creme Brulee. So we are obviously not in winter anymore, but this one sounded very good. It's caramelized sugar and vanilla flavored coffee. And what I like about this is though it's a couple months old, this was still roasted fresh on February 8th, 2021. So let's give it a shot. Let's crack it open, get a couple whiffs in and, and see what it smells like. Oh, no, no little glue trap in there to get you. It just opens up super nice and smooth. I'm not really getting anything from this. It smells really good. It smells very fresh, but I'm not getting any caramelized sugar or vanilla flavor smell, but it does smell super fresh. So I'm curious to see what this is gonna taste like. So let's get this ground up. Let's get this brewed up and give it a taste. All right, so we're back. We got this ground up, haven't opened it yet. So let's get the first whiff of that ground coffee. I'm still not like getting any like particular aroma from there. It just smells like a really fresh ground coffee. Yeah, nothing crazy, but let's get this into the, the Chemex, get it brewed up and let's give it a taste. So as this is now brewed, and as I'm waiting for it to cool off, you guys may have noticed, we have our own Chase U mugs now. So if you're thinking to yourself, wow, that's a great mug. I definitely wanna enjoy my next cup of coffee out of a Chase U mug. You can make that happen. So check out the link below and be sure to use the coupon code CREAM, that's C-R-E-A-M, CREAM, for a nice little discount. Now back to the review. So let's give this a sniff. Still nothing that I'm picking up whatsoever. Once again, just smells like a really fresh pot of coffee. So let's get this into the Chase U mug. We'll add our cream, we'll add our honey, and we'll see if we can pick anything up. Extra creamy. And some locally sourced Bucks County honey to go with the Bucks County coffee. Heaping tablespoon of honey. Get that in there, get it all nice mixed around. All right, you guys know the deal? Cup of mug. No difference, no difference whatsoever. Again, just smells really, really nice. So, cheers to you. You know what? Really nice, really subtle, consistent, I'll say, with the way that it smells. You know what this reminds me of? A really, a really, really like fancy cup uh, of, of diner coffee or like donut shop coffee. You have your basic blend, right? And it's just like, oh, okay, you kind of know what you're expecting. That's what this is, but leveled up. 
I don't really get anything like a caramelized sugar or, or a vanilla in there. It's just a really nice, smooth cup of coffee. You know, I keep trying to get like certain sips in and get meticulous with what I'm tasting, but there's really nothing. There's like a very, I, on that last sip, the subtlest of subtle hints of vanilla. But again, this really, to me, is just a fancy version of like a diner coffee. And I mean that in the best of ways. I think if you just like your coffee, just regular, nothing fancy, this is really gonna be for you. This is really a nice step up from that, again, that, that breakfast blender, that donut shop blend. I like this. I think tip of the tongue reaction on this one, honestly, I think I'm gonna go with 7.4. This could easily be like an everyday coffee. Like you just want something that's consistent. You want something that you know what you're gonna expect, but maybe you just want a better quality of that diner coffee. I think that's what Covered Bridge offers in their winter carnival creme, creme brulee, caramelized sugar, and vanilla flavored coffee. Solid coffee, again, 7.4. If you guys are in the area, you're in Feasterville, definitely stop by. They have tons of different coffees. I know I have a couple more that I'm going to review down the line, but stop in and give it a go. But as always, guys, thank you so much for tuning in and stopping by. I greatly appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like these videos, hit that subscribe button. And if there's any coffees that you want to see me review, leave a comment down below. But go ahead, pour yourself a nice cup of coffee, enjoy your day, and as always,